Welcome to Senior Living Smart webinar series. Today, I would like to welcome Amanda Arnook, and she is the Marketing and Brand Manager for Vitality Senior Living. And uh, welcome, Amanda. Thanks for having me, Debbie. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so glad that you're um, able to share kind of your experience in leveraging Facebook Live um, for family communication, marketing communication, events. I think, you know, you're one of the uh, most innovative uh, folks that I've seen during this time figure out how to use technology in a way that's, um, you know, a little simpler and maybe more accessible. Uh, people have been trying Zoom and you've got to download software and <laughs> it kind of comes with its own set of, of challenges. Um, but I'm excited to have you share with people how to use Facebook Live, a little bit about, you know, the setup um, and then, you know, some of the results that you've seen in terms of engagement uh, and adoption and maybe some ideas about how you're planning to use it, you know, going forward. Because I think with COVID, a lot of the things that we're, we're innovating are actually going to become best practices. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, you know, we wanted to say, OK, you know, because the families could no longer come into the communities, we wanted to find a way. Let's use a tool we already have. It's already in place. Um, and use this to communicate with them on a now daily basis. Um, and I don't think that this is something that's going to stop um, even when the pandemic is over, whenever that is, but um, we're gonna continue to use Facebook as a tool. And, and the, I mean, the families love it. Um, they're super engaged on Facebook and um, it's been a, a, something positive to come from, from all of this, so. All right, well, let's dig in. Yeah, I'll turn it over to you, Amanda. Thanks, Debbie. Okay, so um, really, I um, just want to introduce myself really quick. My name is Amanda Arnott. I'm the Marketing and Branding Manager for Vitality Living, um, and I've been there for about two years now, and um, been working with Debbie almost the entire time. So, Debbie, thank you again for having me, and let's just jump in. So the three things I want to talk to you today about are how to host a Facebook Live, how to tag a post as a COVID-19 post, uh, as a COVID-19 update and why that's important, and then how to utilize the event section on Facebook, but tagging it as a virtual event. So Facebook Live essentially is just a video broadcast from where you are and it's live streaming. And so um, families can, you can do it from your phone or from your computer. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from a computer. And I'm using the new Facebook layout. So in the top right corner, there's gonna be a drop down uh, on your old Facebook and you can say, you know, show me the new Facebook and this is what new Facebook looks like. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on the pages tab over here. And we're going to select your um, community's Facebook page, any Facebook page. So you just click on the name. And then it brings you to your home page, uh, your Facebook's home page. And all you want to do is there's a little live button. So we're just going to click create. Next, it brings you to the live stream page and this looks overwhelming. Um, it's, but it's not as overwhelming as it looks. So I'm just going to walk you through um, what steps you would need to take to make sure your camera's working and to properly title your video. So the first thing you're going to do is click on use camera. And then when you click on use camera, your screen changes because then you can see a uh, little video down here has changed. And so um, make sure that you can see whatever your camera is pointing from. I was I have two cameras on my desktop, and so I want to make sure that I'm selecting the right webcam. So if you click the drop down for the camera, you can then select which camera you want to view. This doesn't show anyone anything. <laughs> You also want to make sure that your mic is the one that you want to use. Uh, if you have an external microphone attached to your webcam, then I would uh, recommend using that one. It has a much better quality than if you're using like a laptop camera, but that one's totally fine too. 
Next, you want to make sure that you've selected the page that you want to post from. So I'm already on Vitality Living, and so I just want to make sure that I'm not posting as myself. I want to say, make sure it says share to a page you manage and not share to your timeline. If you share to your timeline, you're sharing as your personal Facebook. So now that I've checked that, um, I want to make sure that the drop down is the community or the Facebook page that I want to post to. Um, I manage 18 Facebook pages, and so I just need to be careful that I'm posting to the right one. Next, you want to give your Facebook Live and, uh, title, and you don't have to do this, but I recommend it, especially if you're posting daily. Um, even if you're just posting the date as the title, this way it tells people when they look back at your videos what to look for and what to, um, you know, what was the topic of your video. And you can always change this later. And again, if you want to put a little bit more of a descriptor, then this is your opportunity to do so. Next, if you need to post from one page, but you want it to pop up on several pages, cross post is how you would do this. So for example, when our CEO, Chris Gay, needed to post um, to all of our Facebook pages, I cross posted, we posted from Vitality Living, and then I cross posted to all of our individual community pages. This way, um, no matter which community you were looking at, you were able to see it. And then when you're ready, you just click go live and it'll give you a countdown and it'll, you know, three, two, one, and then it goes live. When you're ready to end, there's also an end button and it's instead of a blue go live button, it's end video and it's in red in the same location on the page. So I hope the, I hope this helped break down, you know, what it's like to post a live video and walk you through the process a little bit. Um, and know that it's not so scary. And if I can get, you know, 20 people at our communities posting on a daily basis, then I have full confidence that um, anyone can do it. Just a few reminders um, for going live. Um, you want to make sure that your background is clean from clutter that you don't have people walking in and out behind you. I mean, if you have guests, absolutely have them come in. But if you're trying to create like a quiet space, make sure that you're able to do that. Um, keep your doors closed. Again, know where your microphone is and make sure you're speaking into it so your audience can hear you. Um, if you're doing it from your phone, what I find sometimes is that people at a distance, so if you're recording someone else from your phone, someone who is hopefully six feet away from you, it is a little bit hard to hear them, so make sure that they're speaking up. Make sure that your lighting looks good. Um, if you can do anything with your windows or your light to, to brighten up the room, always go for that. And just have water nearby, just in case you need to sip on something. During your Facebook Live, always start with a smile. Um, you're happy to be here. You're happy to be communicating with your families and your and your audience. Uh, make sure you're looking at the camera. I know it's very easy to look down at your um, the video of yourself, and so, but that's what they see when you look. So make sure you're looking directly at the camera. When you need to slow down and pause. Um, sometimes we rush through talking, and maybe I'm doing it now. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So the importance of uh, having a quiet background. Um, pause if you need to. And always on the side, you're going to see a comment section. So you can always um, check to see if anyone said anything in there um, on the left hand side of the screen um, to see if there's anything you need to address while you're on the live video. So next uh, thing I want to talk about is marking a post as a COVID-19 update. And this seems small, but it's also super important when you do have a post that's not just what's going on in your day-to-day -day at the community to update families on this is specific to, to COVID-19. And the reason is Facebook's algorithms have um, increased the 
how often this post is viewed. So it's important to mark the post um, correctly and when it's relevant. So what you're gonna do here is when you create a post from your main page, um, then you get this pop-up and it's, you know, write something about Vitality Living and then you see the little purple heart icon and this is the COVID-19 post. And this is like, um, it's the same location where you can say, you know, feeling, you know, feeling excited. You can share a photo and you can add your location. So it's the same location where that is on your page. Um, and COVID-19 updates, you know, if there's anything that's changing, if you're starting to do window practices, this would be a great item to mark as a COVID-19. Um, it helps boost the visibility of the post. And so you want to make sure that um, we're reaching as many people on these important updates. So I just wanted to make sure that you know that this is an option that Facebook rolled out recently. And so we're utilizing it when needed. When you um, click the post, you'll see that the purple heart is kind of highlighted. So that's when you know that it is marked. And you'll also see Vitality Living is sharing a COVID-19 update. So yeah, you just write your post, whatever it is, and then we can, um, and then you just click post. The next thing I wanted to walk everyone through is posting virtual events. Um, the importance of this is not everything gets to be in person anymore. And so we're all finding new ways to adjust and uh, go through that. So what you're gonna do is everyone's home page might look just a little different and the reason is it's because the tabs along the top you see home reviews about photos and more and for me i have to click more because events is not one of our top four items up here so you may have to click more to get to see events so all i'm going to do is just click events when that pop-up comes up and then it brings me to my events page. And so all I'm gonna do is click one of the two create event buttons. And then I get this um, preview. So on the left hand side is where I'm going to enter in all of my information. And it's telling me, um, you know, they, they're hoping, Facebook doesn't wanna encourage you to have groups, right? But also if we're posting, a virtual event, it'll help you do that. So just make sure um, that you recognize we're not trying to promote you know, gatherings, we wanna do something virtual for this. When you click see guidelines, it takes you to uh, CDC's website. So thank you, Facebook. We're gonna click next at the bottom. And then it's going to ask for our details. And immediately we see the online event um, checkbox so make sure you check it I am opting to not put a location and the reason is it's an online event and so I don't want to um, confuse people about the location because it is a digital event um, so just make sure you put your start date your end date and your times be sure to label your event from here, you're going to scroll down on the left side and you're going to see, um, here's event name again, and then you're gonna add a description. Um, I highly, highly recommend uploading a photo. If you don't, it chooses your website, your Facebook's banner photo, um, and that's fine, but if you can do something that's more specific to the event, highly recommend it. Be sure to choose a category and you are required to choose a category and it could be, you know, wellness, wellness, causes, arts. Um, they have a, a huge variety of events. If you have any co-hosts, go ahead and add them. Um, this will help spread the visibility of your event. So if you've partnered with anyone, find them on Facebook and all you have to do is hit create. And so um, that kind of walks you through everything. And um, if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Here's my email address, arnook at myvitalityliving.com. I'd be happy to, to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, help you, you know, address any questions that you have. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful and informative. So 
thank you, Debbie, again for for giving me the opportunity to um, to help teach people how to use Facebook. Yeah, no, this was great. I just have a couple follow up questions. Absolutely, you know, I always have questions. <laughs> So, um, what type of events um, are you running? So, we are doing um, a few. One that we have coming up that I'm really excited about is a it's caregiver burnout. And so, our RVP of engagement, Rachel Cole, is going to host an event for a few of our communities. And the idea is that this event is um, giving you know tlc tips and tricks for the caregivers you know making sure you're taking care of yourself um, providing boredom busters you know how to keep your loved ones engaged um, because this is a time where you're staying um, you know you're locked inside and you're with everyone for an extended amount of time and so we want to make sure um, that we're providing as much um, resources as we can uh, to our families and, and you know our uh, anyone who's watching so yeah, and I think it's interesting because, you know, so often we have events that are live and that's not going to be an option for some time, um, but it also is going to help you create evergreen content for the website, right? So you're going to be, I assume, recording these Absolutely. and then and add them, you know, to your, your content, which will boost your SEO and give people more ways to kind of engage with you. So, uh, it, you know, it's interesting that these things that we've been forced to do, um, actually uh, may have great benefits that we would never have thought of if we'd been able just to continue to have these, you know, on-site um, in-person events. Absolutely, yeah. It's um, forcing a, an industry to move forward whether they want to or not. So, um, but we're happy to to be a leader in that and to to push the boundaries and see where it can take us. So. So I know when you started doing kind of the daily updates, the initial um, you know, intent was just to keep families informed, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that they felt good about you know, everybody in the community and what was happening. And sometimes you would feature um, you know, maybe a department head or even a, um, even a resident. Uh, but did, did prospects find you? Like did this become kind of an unexpected marketing tool? Yes. Um, you know, uh, we have partnered with HubSpot, as you know, and when I check our new contacts through HubSpot, I mean, it's up like 400, 500%. And so um, it's incredible that people are connecting uh, and they're forced, because they can't come into the community, they can't walk in. So then they're relying on the resources, you know, the internet to find uh, information and what better way to find it than most up to date than Facebook. So, um, yeah, definitely, absolutely. Prospects are, are finding us through there and reaching out and commenting and liking and sharing. And it's not exclusive to family members. So, um, but the family members have been uh, great advocates for us. You know, thank you for keeping our loved ones safe. You know, thank you for all that you're doing. We appreciate the measures you're taking. We understand. Um, so, mm -hmm. I could not be more grateful and thankful for our family members for being so understanding and supportive. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And it's certainly encouraging because, you know, where the industry is saying that lead generation is down 30 to 50 percent uh, from other sources, um, you know, to be able to maximize your opportunity, your digital um, mm -hmm. presence is, is probably your, your, your best option at this point. So your lead generation has been, I'm sure, less impacted be because of these types of kind of forward thinking, proactive communication measures. It is. Um, so where our lead gen numbers are down a little bit, like I'd be lying if I said they weren't, but mm -hmm. our conversion metrics are up. So that's really nice, too, because what it's showing is uh, people who are reaching out, they are qualified leads and they are, you know, um, they're in need. And so we're here to help them and, and help them as much as we can. Yeah. Well, great. I also was thinking, um, you know, with Facebook Live, I'm sure most folks are probably in front of their laptop broadcasting. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's so much that we can show people about kind of the behind the scenes of what's happening in the communities every day that's actually really uplifting that would help us take back our narrative from the negative um, kind of uh, narrative that the media has had. So, you know, have you thought about or have any of your folks kind of gotten comfortable enough to maybe do Facebook live streaming from their phone and actually go into the kitchen and oh yeah, the chef and what we're having for lunch today? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, some of the communities, uh, they've just, you know, really jumped on board with this. And, um, you know, if there's an activity happening, I mean, there's still life happening in our communities. There's life is not canceled. They're still engaging. There's still activities. Um, we're just, you know, being creative and keeping our distance and, you know, tweaking things a bit. But we're, you know, some of the, the communities, they've really uh, gotten away from just being behind a laptop and they take the phone and they go around and, you yeah. um, that interview residents and oh what did you do today and you know say hi to everyone and so um, it's been a really fun and sweet and endearing to see so I'm very proud of our teams for taking that on. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for sharing today. And um, if anybody has any uh, questions about, you know, some of the more technical or administrative um, aspects of how to set up or what kind of rights you have to have, um, you know, company versus, you know, an admin type of access. Amanda's there, so she will be happy to answer your questions. Don't call me. I know nothing about this. <laughs> call Amanda. But uh, thanks so much, and uh, we'll look forward to picking your brain on another uh, webinar, I'm sure. Absolutely. It's been my pleasure, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.